What is up, gang? Thank you so much for checking out Sledgehammer TV tonight. It is Friday, February the 9th, 2018, and we are here with some breaking news regarding the future of the WWE and its programming, and some really, really big changes that might be coming for the creative team, and three reasons why you just might want to start watching 205 Live right here and right now on the newest, fastest rising podcast in all of YouTube, baby! The Sledgehammer Wrestling Show. Let's do it. Wrestling fans, thank you so much for joining me on the channel again tonight. My name is Nick Nightmare. Along with me is my trusty companion, my loyal tag team partner, and the world heavyweight champion of microphones, Blue the Snowball. And we are here to talk some WWE news today, some very, very big WWE news today. Before we get started with all today's news, I want to invite each and every one of you guys to subscribe to this channel today. It is, like I said at the top, the newest fastest rising hottest podcast on youtube i need you guys to let me know that you love this show just as much as i do subscribe to this channel hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's broadcast and share this video with as many people as possible as we are so damn close to our 500 subscriber mark and we are fast on the march to that 1000 subscriber goal before the 20th of this month it seems insurmountable but it isn't because I have faith in this channel and I have faith in you that you are going to hit that subscribe button right now and come along for the ride and join the family that I am growing here, an absolutely fantastic community of wrestling fans right here on Sledgehammer TV and the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show. We want to invite you guys to be a part of all of that. Don't forget to do all of those things. That is the very best way that I know that you can be awesome. And you could do that today for me, just like I come and bring the awesome to you as we bring the hammer down on the world of professional wrestling. But we're going to raise the hammer up a little bit today because there's some great news going on. And it's not going to be as big as maybe we're making it out to be, you know, but it's baby steps in the right direction. And I will take it as WWE and its programming from this moment on seemingly is going to have the grip of Vince McMahon loosened, if just a little bit, as more and more control is being given to Triple H. Some of you guys might not be Triple H guys. You might not like him. You might think he's a man with the golden shovel, just like John Cena, that he used to bury talent. You may have some personal grudge against him. For whatever reason, you may not like the man. That's fine. I personally have always been and will always be a Triple H fan. I am not saying what I'm about to say because of that reason. I'm saying what I'm about to say because the proof can be given to you in three simple letters. N-X-T. Ever since he's launched this brand, it has been the premier show on WWE television. Bar none. Every single special event that Triple H has produced underneath his banner from the Dusty Rhodes Classic to the Cruiserweight Classic to the Mae Young Classic and everything else, the United Kingdom Championship, everything the man touches feels like the way wrestling is supposed to be. He definitely has his hand on the heartbeat of what the fans truly want. As a promoter, he knows what he's doing. As a wrestler, he is one of the greatest of all time, regardless of your personal opinions. But I understand that some people can take him or leave him. I get it. The whole marriage with Stephanie, some people take that the wrong way. I get it. The man's a genius. He cemented his feet in this family, and I'm ever grateful for it because he definitely has a better handle on wrestling than the family that pretty much created what we all know and love today. So I'm all right with it. And NXT 
should be the only place you need to look to see how great the future will be. And another clear example is going to be 205 Live. Let's talk about the three reasons why you should probably be watching 205 Live from this moment on. First of all, we have Drake Maverick. Drake Star Spudrick. The former rock star Spud, who is the general manager and who has been on an absolute tear as the general manager, just ripping into these cruiserweights, claiming that they are former shells of themselves. The first two episodes since he has been the general manager have been fantastic. He himself personally has been fantastic. I think he's performing way above and beyond anything that I expected from him, especially when they announced he was going to be a general manager. Absolutely fantastic. Reason number two. We're essentially getting a secondary Cruiserweight Classic. This 16-man Cruiserweight Championship Tournament, the four matches that I have seen so far, have brought me right back there. Right back to that feeling that I was getting watching the Cruiserweight Classic. The match quality is amazing. It's everything you wanted when they announced the Cruiserweight division and then some. And then some. Because these kids are starving to perform. They were put shackles upon them by Vince McMahon wanting them to develop characters and to be funny and be entertaining. That's not what these guys are about. They're about going in that ring and tearing shit up. And that's what we've been seeing on 205 Live for the first time since its inception. We're not seeing ridiculous PowerPoint presentations. We're not seeing some tiny Italian man running off at the mouth in a place where he does not deserve to be. We're not seeing six man after six man after six man. We're not seeing Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher being wasted. We're not seeing TJP being pushed in this ridiculous, I'm a good guy, but bad guy, gamer, goofball. They're just going out there and they're being what they are, cruiserweight competitors, hungry for competition, looking for that championship title belt. The, the promos have been fantastic. Everything is an echo of what the Cruiserweight Classic was. Absolutely top-notch entertainment. Reason number three. Triple H has been given complete control of 205 Live. 205 Live is going to be the second best show in all of the WWE. Why? Because the man knows how to produce wrestling. He knows what the cruiserweights bring to the table, and he's going to set the table for them to deliver delicious meals of wrestling goodness. It's already begun. Everything we've wanted is coming to be all because Vince McMahon's finally uh, seen that he has failed. He will never admit that he's a failure. He's gone on record and has told everybody, like, so the stockbrokers and everybody don't get nervous. I'm not, I'm not diminishing my role in the WWE, not whatsoever to further my endeavor in the XFL. But that is not the case. And he's finally said, you know what, this 205 Live thing, this ain't for me. You take it over. It was your idea in the first place. Here you go. This is what should have essentially happened day one from the Cruiserweight division being brought to the main roster. Where they go from here, the sky is the limit. It's absolutely refreshing to see these guys back in their element, doing their thing, and I fully encourage you guys to go and check it out. We just might start doing reviews of 205 Live following the championship tournament. You guys know I love tournaments as it is. I considered doing it just based off the back of that. But now seeing the quality of the matches and how they're already starting to develop story without overly developing stories, it may be worth our time to come sit here and talk about. Absolutely fantastic. Those are just three reasons I could think of right off the top of my head. It's go It's been... And 100% turnaround from what it was to where it's been. And I only expect it to be better. You want a fourth reason? I'll give you a fourth reason. The surprises. We have been promised surprises in this Cruiserweight Classic. Well, <laughs> this Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. It, it is essentially the second Cruiserweight Classic, like I said. 
And imagine seeing a Rey Mysterio debut here. Maybe they throw Ricochet in here. Get him involved. If they're going to allow him to compete on the level of that. He deserves way much more than that. But it would be a great way to bring him in. Just to get the people familiarized with him. Just give him at least one match. And then bring him up to the main roster after that. Just to get his feet wet in the WWE. Do you know the type of match we could have if you had Ricochet come back with a returning Neville? Maybe this is the way Neville comes back. You have Rey Mysterio come back in. People are saying have him be a commentator. I say screw that. I say have Rey Mysterio go all the way to the finals. And then you put over the winner by having him beat the most famous cruiserweight of all time. That's just what I think. But all of this news with 205 Live is essentially showing you a pattern that's going to apparently keep going. Because it's been announced today that Vince McMahon is also giving more control. He's not stepping aside, but he's going to give more control to Triple H on the main roster shows. This can do nothing but good for WWE programming. Like I said, just look at what the man puts out there. If he starts to be given segments or be allowed to produce maybe the first or second or maybe even a third hour of Raw, whatever he's going to be producing is probably going to be the best segment on the show. He just knows what we want. And he's probably got it all right at his fingertips or it's right on the tip of his tongue and he's ready to say, do all this and everything's going to be great. The fact that he's been given a little bit more say in everything that's going on is probably killing Kevin Dunn, which is fantastic to me, but it might actually make me have to take back everything I said on the last episode where we talked about where I don't believe the AJ Styles Shinsuke Nakamura match is truly going to deliver on what we expect to see for WrestleMania 34's match. If everything is true that we have been reading and... Uh, as it's being reported, Triple H is being given more control over the main roster shows and stuff, then maybe there's hope that these matches and these things are going to be, are going to begin to form on this road to WrestleMania in a much more logical way, in a much more wrestling way. Because right now it's all entertainment and it's not fun. It's not fun. Everything is just, like, hammering on my head. Because all I can see is what I would do. And that means that they're not doing their job. If they're not wowing me to the point where I say, wow, I would have never thought of that. I couldn't see that coming. Where instead I'm sitting on my couch going, you got AJ Styles passing Shinsuke Nakamura in the ring and all he's got to say is, I'm going to beat you at WrestleMania and then walks away and that's all you got? That's all you got for the biggest match that you guys could be putting on All year long. You got Cody Rhodes fighting Kenny Omega the day before at Ring of Honor Supercard 12. And you don't see that as a threat, I guess. It it is. It's going to probably overshadow everything on WrestleMania's card. If you put the handcuffs on AJ and Shinsuke, which I believe Vince McMahon would do to protect the rest of his card. To protect his homegrown guys. AJ and Shinsuke are not property of the WWE. They came from somewhere else. Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, John Cena. They are WWE homegrown entities. Homegrown properties. They're not going to allow them to look secondary to anybody. So I believe that that would be Vince McMahon's intention. You know what? Go out there, have a great match. But don't have too good of a match because we can't make everybody else look bad. That was his mentality with the Cruiserweights. If we're seeing a change here, possibly we will see a change on the main roster. It may be minuscule. We may be overselling it. Everybody may be expecting a miracle happening overnight. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think he's just going to start to make minor changes that we might not even know at first, that might all be happening backstage. It might even might not even translate to anything on screen for quite some time. But the fact of the matter is, it's happening. The moment we've all been waiting for is starting to creep its way into our lives. And the man that will lead the future in a much more positive light and deliver much more of what we, the wrestling fans, want to see is about to be upon us. Triple H, good luck, buddy. And I hope to God 
it happens as quick as possible. I gotta look more into it. More on that as it develops. It really just broke a little while ago. I'm late to the party with it. I know everybody else is talking about it. I haven't heard what anybody else has to say about it. And that is because for the last maybe three days or so, I have been absolutely obsessed with the Cloverfield Paradox. I can't wrap my head around it. I can't get it to make sense within the world of the Cloverfield universe. So much so that I am going to bring back my Hollywood Review segment. And it used to be called the It's True Hollywood Review, but it's going to now be known as Hammerin' Hollywood because I'm going to bring the hammer down on the Cloverfield universe because there is one glaring, glaring error that nobody that I've listened to review this thing has mentioned, and I need to bring it out to light and see if people agree with me. Maybe we can gain more subscribers if we talk about a little bit more than pro wrestling. Wrestling is our first love, but we love all forms of entertainment, and I do love talking about movies as well, and if you guys do enjoy that, I invite you to look forward to that. It will be up here on the channel tomorrow. My Cloverfield Paradox review is going to shock you. So make sure you guys get your eyes on that. As far as everything else wrestling, you know this is the destination and the place to be for all your professional wrestling news in the world of sports entertainment. We've got everything from the Raw and SmackDown review live on this channel. We've got all kinds of stories going on all week long. We got top five lists, everything that your wrestling heart desires. All you got to do is check the playlist Check the annotations, list it above my head, click the cards if you like, but most importantly, like I asked you guys at the beginning, do not forget to be awesome, like this video, share this video with your friends, and most importantly, join the movement that is sweeping the nation and bringing the hammer down on YouTube in one fell swoop, and that is the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show, right here on Sledgehammer TV, only on youtube.com my name is nick nightmare these have been my thoughts don't forget to get your eyeballs on 205 live and be hyped for triple h's future just like i am this is blue snowball microphone the world heavyweight champion of microphones he's hyped for the future he's excited for 205 live and a new cruiserweight championship i hope you guys are as well that is going to do it and we are out of here and we will see you next time right here on the sledgehammer wrestling show thank you so much have a good night